When you begin keeping your own phenology record, you will be looking and listening for observable parts of any plant or animal's annual life cycle that can be tracked from year to year. These events are called phenophases. A phenophase always has a start and end point, such as the period over which newly emerging leaves are visible, or the period over which open flowers are present on a plant. Some examples of phenophases include the first arrival of eastern bluebirds in the spring, the flowering of red maple trees, and the date when tamarack needles change into their beautiful fall colors. Life cycle events are often triggered by seasonal changes in rainfall, temperature, and day length. Phenophase timing is important to study because it's impacted by changes in climate, and impacts on phenophase timing by climate can impact humans, plants, and animals too. For example, by analyzing observations collected by citizens, Scientists have found some plants are leafing out earlier in recent years. This means that fruit trees and crops that we depend upon for food might begin to flower earlier in the season, leaving them at risk for damage during spring frosts. Birds that depend upon these flowers and fruits are also impacted when they can't find those mid-migration snacks that they flew so far to eat. At the Minnesota Phenology Network, we encourage people to record observations on the phenophases that they're interested in monitoring. For some people, just recording when lilacs are flowering in their backyard is all that they're interested in recording, and that's great. Other people are interested in recording all of the phenophases of their favorite tree throughout the growing season, or monitoring most of the phenophases of several species in their favorite park or natural area. Later in this training series, we will show you how to use Nature's Notebook to enter your data and to check out what other phenological events are happening all around the country. Nature's Notebook helps you identify and describe the phenophases for a particular species that you are observing. For example, a person interested in following all of the phenophases of a red maple tree would monitor breaking leaf buds, leaves, flowers, and fruits. At the Minnesota Phenology Network, we encourage everyone to choose a species that they want to make observations on. If you're having a hard time choosing which species to monitor, we suggest choosing one or more of the Minnesota Phenology Network's top seven species, which include red maple, monarch butterfly, ruby-throated hummingbird, the common loon, the eastern bluebird, common lilac, and the tamarack. Monitoring phenology by using Nature's Notebook can be really easy and can be done anywhere. For example, you could even monitor the flowering status of dandelions in the sidewalk cracks. So pick your favorite plant or animal and start recording the timing of these important events. Remember, it's up to you what species you'd like to observe and what phenophases you would like to record. Whether you live in the city or in a rural community, there's always something going on. To learn more about choosing a species and recording phenology, check out the Minnesota Phenology Network and sign up on Nature's Notebook to get started making observations today.